Hello everyone and welcome to Lawrence Plays Manhunt Survival. Yes, we're playing the, the variation on the uh, Manhunt game today where we don't have any checkpoints. And that means I'm basically free to go wherever I want. I can bimble around the city at will, take whatever cars I like, just do whatever I want. And so, much like the other uh, Manhunt games recently, much like Checkpoint and Landmark, we have a circle of doom, as I call it, on the, um, on the hunter's maps. And they can use that to work out where roughly where I am in the city it gives them at the beginning of the game it gives them about an, a circle about a kilometer across so that's quite a big area and it's sort of it's going to be tricky for them to find me in that but as time goes by the circle gradually shrinks and when the circle gets down to being I think it's a hundred hundred meters across at that point I win the game so the hunters have to try and catch me before that happens uh, Tristan's managed to kill himself, that's good, <laughs> I think. I mean, it doesn't actually make a great deal of difference to me because he's not actually chasing me at the moment, so who cares. Uh, I just, ooh, that looks like a Pete there. Um, sure, don't care. Um, I'm going to try and give the impression that I don't care. Whether I actually care or not remains to be seen. No, he's gone, he's gone away, so okay, I'm happy with that for now. I might try and change vehicles though, because he's sort of seen this one, so I feel like a different one might be a good idea, especially as he knows I'm in this sort of area. Hmm. And if you see, I get the feeling if he sees a if he sees a silver oracle again with the same guy in it, he might get suspicious of me. So we'll cruise around here a little bit. I don't want I don't want to head over the bridge to the other side of um, other side of the storm drain, because over there there are a lot of um, uh, the, the roads are a bit less dense, which I think means, given that they know I'm within a certain area, it's going to make me a bit easier to find. So I'll try and stay over over in this sort of area. And sitting here at a red light, is, which is just on green, is actually quite good for me because it's time is passing, but I'm not moving. And if I'm not moving, then the circle isn't moving and I can't make any mis mistakes. So th speaking of the circle... In the particular mode we're playing in at the moment is, is called we, we call it teleport mode, and that means that the circle will sit completely still on the map um, until I get to the edge of it. And when I touch the edge of it, it will teleport to a random to a position so it's randomly got me somewhere in the circle. Now that means that essentially, as long as, if I sit still, then the hunters don't know where I am. I'm not going to do that. I mean, I, I could just sit perfectly still and hide in a car park or something like that, but that'd be boring. But nobody wants that, um, so I'm not going to do that. But I will, I will relish the uh, the times when I can just sit stationary at a um, at a traffic light like this, and just yeah, and and and, and uh, be be a little bit incognito. Um, what else is there to say about the game? So I say it is basically down to sort of cat and mouse. The circle get, gets gradually smaller over time. The rate the circle shrinks at depends on what car I'm driving. So if I'm driving a sports car or a supercar. I'm not sure whether it literally doesn't shrink or whether it just shrinks very, very slowly. But either way, it's it makes it hard for it. It's not particularly good for me because whilst whilst I could get away quite quickly and easily from a chase, uh, it the circle shrinks so very, very slowly that I that it's almost pointless for me being in one of those. Then you've got the sort of a second class of cars, which is all of the ones, all of the miscellaneous ones. So muscle cars, sedans, SUVs, coupes, compacts, uh, that sort of thing. Everything in the sort of the middle tier. Um, and that has the circle shrinking at a, the nominal rate. And then if I switch over to a van or an industrial vehicle, then it'll shrink a bit faster. Now my, my gut feeling, and I haven't really tested this particularly carefully, but my gut feeling is that it's probably not worth being in a terrible, terrible vehicle uh, just, just to get the, the circle to shrink more quickly. Um, because then I will be absolutely doomed if there's any sort of chase happens. So that's why I'm in my traditional Oracle at the moment, because it's quite a good car, it's mildly nondescript, um, and it's a coupe class, so it's um, it's generic enough that the it, it, it's in the generic middle row, middle middle tier. The problem is, I do use oracles an awful lot, so the hunters will probably be suspicious of them. Uh, now, obviously, the reason I use them is because they're quite good. Um, so the downside of switching to anything else is that I'll probably end up in a worse car. Um, and also, there are a lot of oracles spawning today, so I mean. 
Maybe that'll mean that the hunters won't be so suspicious of them, because if they were to attack every single oracle they saw, they would just be forever shooting vehicles. So, perhaps I'm safe in an, safe-ish in an oracle. I don't know. I could use an F620. They're a bit more... Um, they're also uh, coupe class, and therefore quite good. But they're not... Um, they're a bit more ostentatious than the F6 than the uh, than the than the Oracle. I think they probably draw a bit more hunter attention. The um, the Oracle is innocuous enough that unless they're really looking for it, they're probably not going to. Unless they're really going, is that an is that an Oracle? It probably is an Oracle. Should we attack that Oracle? Yes, I suppose we probably should. Then it might get away with uh, with barely a second glance. The F620s, on the other hand, are actually quite good. Um, and they look like proper sports cars, so I think they're much more likely to be to get a second glance from the hunters. I mean, these are all sort of vague theories and guesses and, and suspicions and things. So it's it's really hard to know what the what the best way to play this game is. Um, so I'm I'm working at the moment on um, just trying to sneak, just trying to drive around reasonably innocuously. I think at some point I might go for a hoon across the city on the um, on the freeway just to sort of. Give the hunters a bit of a um, a bit of a distraction, sort of put the wind up them a little bit. It's it's kind of fun. It's it's not the most sensible thing to do. The best, the most sensible thing to do is just to trundle around the city slowly like this, um, and let them and and just hope that I stay away from them. And most of the time, I and, and at least for a while, that shouldn't be too difficult. But getting onto the freeway and putting my foot down, ooh, they're shooting people. So they they think they found me. They clearly haven't because that shot came was on. I'm pretty sure was actually on the other side of the um, of the freeway, so it was miles and miles away from me. Um, but ooh, here comes. There's a green car. That's probably is that Mark? Yes, I think that's Mark's colour. And there's Tristan in the purple. So they've seen. I've clearly pinged the circle and it's moved up over this side of the um, this side of the freeway. So they know that I'm around here somewhere. But they've gone that way. So I'm going to go this way. I don't know whether that's wise, because if I sort of follow around reasonably close to the hunters, it's going to be scarier, yes, and tenser and more dangerous and all that sort of thing. But it does mean that I'm, yeah, I can be reasonably sure that I'm not. Um, is that an actual Tesco's lorry there? I'm sure freshly clicked is. Yeah, these are real trucks in the. Oops. These are real, real-world trucks. That was a Hermes truck behind me. <laughs> Somebody's been playing, having fun with the mod pack because these are not GTA vehicles. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, yeah, there's a Sainsbury's van over there. <laughs> Somebody. So clearly, um, Tristan has gone into the um, the mod settings and it just imported a load of alternative um, skins from from real-world, real-world supermarkets and delivery companies. That's brilliant. <laughs> um, Okay. <laughs> oh, there's Tristan over there wrecking other people's days. Um, so he's clearly suspicious of that general area. Um, he thinks some of those guys... And there's, there's a few oracles in that queue as well, which is nice. So he's going to be suspicious of those because, well, they're oracles. I'm in the left turn only lane, so I pretty much have to turn left when that light goes green, which is now. Go between these motor... Well, around those motorbikes. Pull off this way. Is he following me? I can't tell. Let's change change lanes to go around these. Um, look at these. <laughs> okay, that's most of the uh, the British supermarkets um, represented now with, with that Ocado van as well. That, okay, that, that that amuses me quite a lot, as you can clearly tell. <laughs> I'm gonna. Uh, that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's um. This is getting more and more real worldly. I don't know, the next next time, maybe next week when we when we play, I'll have imported a London map into the game or something. That'll be even more. Uh, even more weird. I sort of, I don't know. Pete did did look did get a bit of a look at me in this car earlier, but I don't. I think now it's been long enough that he's probably not. He's probably forgotten about it, and so I can just carry on using it. I'm going to stick with that theory for for now because it's probably valid. I think I'm probably safe sticking with sticking with this oracle. There's loads of them around. Silver oracles are blooming everywhere, and oracles in general are even even more common. Um, hopefully he didn't, and, and and I don't think he twigged that it was me. <clears throat> I managed to hold my nerve, and I was actually right to hold my nerve for once, which makes a nice change. 
Oh, I wish there was some sort of... There's Pete again. <laughs> Driving nicely. Interesting game through as well. Mind. <laughs> Loving AIs. Okay, there's Mark behind me. I'm worried. He's sort of. Is he going? Can't tell. Pulled off a bit too hard there, I think. And I went silent. I do apologise for that, but I was busy sort of trying to judge whether whether I needed to flee from Mark or not. Um, he's gonna now he's got an eye on me. He's gonna notice if I suddenly um, if I ping the circle basically. So let's try sitting at a red light. Where is he? Okay, maybe he's going away. Alright, good. No, he's sitting there. Oh, I don't like this. And there's Pete as well behind me. Ooh, it's a green light. Okay, so we've got two of the hunters, both the green ones in fact, sort of lurking around nearby. I want to switch vehicles. But I don't want to switch vehicles into something terrible. And I want them to get a little bit further away from me first. Mark is properly suspicious of me. I don't like this one bit. And here comes Pete as well. I'm fleeing. It's been t too much suspicion from them. I think I don't want to. I don't want to hang around and, and, and um, leave myself open to a, to any more abuse than I have to. Let's put it that way. So yeah, they when the, when the two two of them pull up like that and start just sort of sitting next to you, it's it's pretty. You can be fairly certain that they've um, they've identified you. Now because this is um, survival, I don't have any particular worry about where I'm going. So at this point, I might as well just put my foot down, head out this way, and if I follow this round to the right, I think this will take me down through industrial, and I can just get into ghetto at the bottom there. And that, yeah, it's a long run round on the um, on the highway, which is lots and lots of fast. Um, but as long as I can use it to get away from them, is this the right way? This is where I wanted to go. I think this is where I wanted to go. I shouldn't come up. Let's. Ooh. Apparently, we'll come off there. Um, that actually works really well as long as they don't, didn't see me. I don't think they did. Okay. I'll um, take that. It wasn't actually my intention, but... Um, yeah. We'll switch to an F620. Now, this is an F620 with a broken window, which is unfortunate. I do... So I'm going to need to change, change this again as soon as possible. How'd you get out of here? Not like that, clearly. Maybe along the railway? I mean... <laughs> Along the railway is not the best way to stay incognito. Where's the way out of here? And I... <laughs> because we're playing um, survival, I don't want... Oh, there's a lot of I was going to say, I don't want to hang around on... on railway lines for too long. I think I've just been spotted. <laughs> that was unlucky. I was going to say, I don't want to hang around on railway lines for too long because it's not fair. It's, um, it's hiding, basically. Um, but if I can now get out of here. And at least I've switched from one coupe to another coupe. <laughs> so I can cross the city at speed. Yes, it'll ping the um, the doohickey. It'll ping the circle a load of times. Um, but never mind. Okay, there, I can see some purple headlights in the very dim very distance behind me. So I think if I come round here and then on the, on the anchors, round this corner, down here, and then we'll go this way. Because that'll make it look like I'm still going in about the same direction I was before. Now, I still need to change cars again. Oh, no, he's still behind me. I slowed down to, um, to think about changing cars, but no, he's still there. He's done a better job of following me than I thought he had. I was hoping that the, um, the going over that sort of bit of a hill there and then changing direction would get me away from them. But no such luck. Um, I, don't, I don't know whether that was down to the circle or just because I braked so much before I um, went around the corner that it was obvious that I'd gone around the corner. So here we go. There's a corner. Oh, taken rather badly. And there's a loop. We'll cut back in the opposite direction again to um, to throw them off. Let's let's go into movie studios because that's a way to cut through. That gets me off the um, beaten track. They might have seen that. They might not. I don't know. So I'll punch out here. 
I don't know. I couldn't see behind me properly then. So now I want to find an. A, oh. <laughs> I doubled back too much, and that made me really, really. Uh, and that meant I found one of the hunters when I was trying to flee. That's not how it's supposed to go. Up here, what's up here, what's up here? I don't know this road. Here's an alleyway, let's take that. Oh, this is up to buy the golf club. Okay, that's fine. I don't mind the golf club. It's, it's a way to go. Ooh. Screech. Right, so I have lots of hunters around at the moment. This is definitely not ideal. I just need to get going and get, get keep moving. And this car has taken a few serious blows, but it's still it's still quite a good car, so I'm I'm not going to say in with a good chance of escaping, but I, no, I, I am going to say in with a good chance of escaping. Um, I probably won't escape if I just go in a straight line like this, though, but it does mean if I go, doing doing this does make it a bit harder for Mark to catch up with us, and it, there's a reason, and there's, it also increases the chance of somebody making a mistake. If I make a mistake, it's not the end of the world. A mistake is not automatically fatal to me because it sort of it just means I, I get slowed down. The hunters will then have a chance to pummel me a bit and, and maybe and maybe maybe attack me, maybe not. Maybe them, uh, if I can get away from me, even though they're attacking me, um, then I'm in with a chance. Uh, they've always got that chance. However, if the hunters make a mistake, then they drop back a long way, and then they have to play catch up for quite a long time. Although me making a little mistake like that allows them to do that catching up. And Tristan's in his Windsor, which is a really, really fast car. Then Pete's taken a shortcut to cut me off. He nearly did as well, but I managed to dodge him. Quite pleased with that. Um, okay, so a bit of speed. A bit of speed. Purple is quite a long way behind me. Come around here. Have I got the grip to take this corner? Almost. Good enough. Don't, no, missed the, missed the tree, I said. And then we can go around this way as well. And then try and go down here. I need another car swap. I, I really, really need to change cars because this one is... It's, it's, it's damaged, but that's not the problem. The problem... Oops. The problem with it is that it's very, very recognisable. Let's take this uh, felon. I think that's a felon. Are you a felon? I think you're a felon. Felon is... Where's Mark? I don't think he noticed me... Did you not notice me steal this car? I, I I just stole a car in front of you, mate. You must have noticed it. Oh no, it's an Oracle. Oh well, <laughs> another Oracle it is then. But still, it was it was worth trying to change vehicles because I I needed a different one. This possibly isn't quite as quick as the um, as the F620 was, but I think it's still good enough to do a bit of a quick run across the top of the map here, and then a hard turn like that. And then what's this? I almost don't get. Oh no, it's one of those blister compacts. Um, the problem with the blister compact is it's a car that look. It doesn't look like a sports car. It doesn't drive like a sports car. But according to the game, it is a sports car. And so using that means that you get get sort of the, uh, the penalty of having the circle shrinking slowly, but without getting the the big plus side. Because he recognised me. No, I don't think they have. Excellent. I stopped in about the right place. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, go away. Right, what was I saying? Yes, so they're, they're, um, they've got all the, the downsides of a sports car in that they um, you, you get the slow circle shrink rate. He's looking at me. I don't like this. Um, okay, we're doing some more chasing then, it turns out. Uh, you get the downside of, the, of the, the slow shrink rate, but you don't get any of the upsides of a sports car of, you know, having a good car. Um, so yeah, they're a bad choice for this game mode. Uh, so I'm not going to use one, if I can possibly avoid it. Oh, that was a badly taken corner. <laughs> so they're definitely going to have identified my character model now, and we've established from... Um, no, that's what I wanted to do. Lights off. I always press the wrong button when I'm trying to do that. Um, so he's got his lights off. Most of it's crashed into me too many times, but it's, it seems fair for me to turn mine off as well. So what was I saying? Yes, the um, we've we've learned today. They they basically every time they've 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 won, it's because they've identified my character model and they've spotted what I look like. So this time that has in fact has definitely happened. Which one of these is the way through? This is the way through. Good. I think they both might be. Um, 
so they now know know what I look like, which is unfortunate, but kind of inevitable, I think. Let's head back down to downtown. It's quite, we're going quite well for me over there. Now, the whole point of this game mode is that the game gets harder uh, the longer we play for, because the circle gets smaller and smaller. That's a felt, I'd love that, but it won't get me the circle shrink rate that I want. That's an SUV. That's a Tristan. I don't, definitely don't want that. Right, back on the highway then. <laughs> Let's go the other way this time, though. Always end up going against traffic, though, for some reason. Ooh. Ah, e ow, ooh, and other noises. Um, ooh, maybe that works. Have I, have I lost them? I think I might have So, so yeah, the circle is getting smaller and smaller over time. That's, that's by design, is the whole point. It's, it's the, the idea is that the game gets, gets harder and harder the longer we play for, um, until either they catch me or I win. Um, and, no, I don't want that. It's terrible. Find me a not terrible car game. And also one that isn't smashed to bits. All right, let's take. Since there's these blooming blisters everywhere, I'll take one oh of them. God. Oh my god! Oh! Every single time I switch cars, a hunter turns up. Now, I need to get off the beaten track when I next when the next car shit switch. I think um, because this just isn't. Whatever, whatever I'm doing is not working. And in in hindsight, yes, I switched vehicles then on a. Um, on a, on a major road, that was that was stupid of me. I should have I should have got off and gone into a car park or something like that. But the problem with changing vehicles in a car park is if you steal a parked car, you end up smashing the window on it. And if the hunters are paying attention, then they'll notice that, and then you um, and then you're really obvious and oops, they identify you. Or it's a really obvious giveaway rather, and then they they they, they identify you. And because you're probably not moving, it's coming up. Oh, okay, that'll do. Um, <laughs> I think. That has quite successfully stopped shooting at me. Ah, do not want. Um, successfully got me away, which is nice. Let's see if I can. There's an oracle. I'll be. Um, let's go in here. So I think this counts sort of almost like a car park. Is anyone behind me? No. What if I? Somewhere in here. I'm sure there are car parks in movie studios where the sort of I don't know cast cars and things like that must be parked, or sometimes sort of movie set type cars. Uh, there he is. I okay, so I'm I'm now wondering how much of this look at the shape of the back of my car. How much of this they seem to be finding me very very quickly at the moment. Now that could be good tracking. It could be that the circle has now got down to the size where down to a size where it means it's almost impossible for me to hide because he went straight into movie studios there from the other end as well, um, which makes it look like he knew where I was. I don't oh. Um, that was a bit spinny. I need a new car. I'm going to have to switch here, I think. Oh, don't get out the other side. That's not very unhelpful. It's another Oracle. But Oracles are actually good, so I'm going to take it. Now, I'm going to try driving briefly like an actual AI. We'll see how long this lasts for. Because, as I said, I think they know, they know what I look like. They know pretty much where I am because of the circle. The circle is getting smaller and smaller all the time. I wish I had a, um, a timer indicator on here so that it would tell me that there's, there's supposed to be, in this game mode, there's supposed to be an indicator, a pop-up indicator, that tells you... <laughs> this car is looking definitely the worst for wear. Jesus! That's an interesting thing I hadn't thought of. Um, in, in, in checkpoint game modes, the hunters get the opportunity to repair their cars because they uh, they can park in a checkpoint for 10 seconds and it fixes any damage with their car. In this mode, there aren't any checkpoints, so they don't get to repair. But, oh, for goodness sake, don't pull out in front of me. Um, but I effectively do get to repair my car because I can change into a new one anytime I want. I hadn't thought of that as being such an advantage for me. <laughs> they were expecting me to go over the um, off the jump there because I usually do. <laughs> At least I suspect they were probably. Expect I expect they were expecting me to. So I'll go off the jump here instead. Can I make it into the? Can there we go. Perfect. And let's get out of here before they loop round. There we go. Nicely, nicely. And then round here. I think at this point they are finding me so quickly each time I change vehicle that I'm going to stick with. I'm just going to stick with this oracle and keep running 
because I don't think I can. Um, I don't think there's. A, it's, I don't think it's safe to change vehicles, basically, because they fuck. They find it that the circle must be must be really small because they keep finding me very very quickly. Let's dip into um, into ghetto though, and we'll I'll drive a bit more slowly, but I'll keep the oracle even though I know that as soon as they see me, like that. You see, he didn't even. It was a generic. It could have been any oracle, but he just went straight for me. So I think the circle is now small enough that they aren't having any difficulty identifying where or working out where I am. So, what is quite interesting, I've noticed, is that it seems to be... Oh no, I was going to say it's just Tristan keeping up with me. It's not. Um, I was wondering if the other two had battered their car cars into oblivion, whereas Tristan was carrying on going, because it's an oracle and therefore made out of cast iron and it's essentially instructed. Oh no, I'm in tr trouble. Ooh. I was in trouble, but I managed to get out of it. I'm, I'm amazed that works. I thought I was completely pinned there, but... Um, but no, I, I actually escaped. I'm amazed. Uh, I say, I don't... How much of my car... <sighs> yeah, that, that's what happens when you get hit by a Windsor. So for some reason, the Windsor, which is based on one of the um, slightly sportier um, Rolls-Royce Bentley type cars. I'm pulling to the left a little bit as well. That's not going to help my driving. Um, weighs three and a half tonnes. So it, it's a crazy heavy car, but it's also the fastest of the coupes and this seems like a bit of a sort of a contradiction to me but for some reason yeah some reason it is both the heaviest and the fastest car in the year uh, oh that's not a way through <clears throat> in the game so th which is why Tristan favors it um, it's the fastest when you can see you can the, the the advantages of that are pretty obvious I mean, he, can, he can keep up with pretty much anything oh, so pick up truck. Um, ooh, oh I'm nearly there. The circle has got to its minimum size, so I just need to get away from them, away from him now. And I think he's just—no, he hasn't just crashed. Awesome. This might be—I might be going to win this. That'd be nice. But I do need to get away from that purple Windsor. And as I say, the the Windsor is tricky because it's it's fast. It handles like an absolute brick, but somehow Tristan has managed to get used to that and is able to to deal with it. Um, goodness knows how. But he seems to be the one person in the world who can actually drive those things, or actually, and, and, and likes to, and does a reasonably good job of it. So he's he's very dangerous because of that. And also because it weighs three and a half tons, when it hits you, you really know about it. And it completely mashes your car. Um, okay, I'm getting away from him gradually, but not as quickly as I would like to. So I'm going to go around this corner, and then let's turn left again here. And here. Let's see how that's done. And if I go this way, I think this might be the way out of the city. So if he's... Ooh, let's take this jump. That takes me down onto this highway. Okay, that, that's fine. It's good as, good as any. I should make it really obvious if he follows me, though, because I'll see a, a wind a wind of flying through the air. And I don't. So I think if I just keep my foot down now, that should get me out of the final hunt. Um, and I should be able to win this, because I think I've lost it. The final hunt works by saying that you have to get, after, at the end of a run, you have to get a certain distance away from all of the hunters for it to count as an actual victory. Because otherwise, I mean, this is more for the checkpoint ones, but, oh, there we go, I've won it. More for the checkpoint ones, because otherwise you could just run through the last checkpoint at speed and it wouldn't be, wouldn't be fair. So, yes, thank you for watching Lawrence Plays and wins for once, uh, Manhunt Survival. Oh, that was hard work, and, yeah, they were definitely finding me very, very quickly at the end of that. But that was good fun. Lots of chasing as well. So I, I hope that makes a good video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>
Do you mind? No, shit. <laughs> AI. Okay, there's Mark behind me. I'm worried. I sort of... Is he going? I can't tell. The bus here heading at speed. Where are you going, bus? Gonna be a bit ballsy of him to take a bus. <laughs> ah, all the passengers on the bus are scared. I'm suspicious of this bus. Where are you? Um, the dog leg. Mark, you're trying to hack me. Yeah. It just moves. Does that help? Um, uh, Grey, white, hell grey, oracle, south of Acadius, I think, yeah. Uh, going west. Huh? Yeah, this one. This one here? Okay. Yeah, 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 that's him. him. Onto the mo highway. Highway right. going east. Yeah. Back towards Acadius. I see Mark. Beat, I think. He is not coming off. Continuing east. They'll continue him. I think he's trying to lose his speed. Well, I'm catching up. I... Oh no, he has come off. On the natural coming off bit. I think right. he took a right. Uh, I think he took a right. Circle would I went been. left. Yeah. What was his car? Uh, light grey oracle. Grey oracle, yeah. Light grey. He could have taken that exit there. I haven't seen him yet. Oh, I've gone past the circle edge. I don't the rail yard to see if he came down here. We're about to leave the circle, Mark. Oh, got him. Black one, just gone there, Tristan. F620. Heading north. Heading west over the bridge. Yeah. Uh, by uh, Garment Factory, is that? I'm not sure. Yeah. Towards Square of Squares. You got the, the only chance of getting in there, Tristan. He's significantly faster than me. Uh, straight west, past Square of Squares. Uh, still he going. He's going right there, didn't he? Oh, is he? No. Oh, yes. Past yeah, yeah, coming up now. I'm not looking at my map because I can't do that and keep track of it. Uh, left after Red Car Park, the road by construction site, and then immediately right at the next road. Don't pull out in front of me. Uh, round to the left. Uh, where are we? We're approaching Chinese Monument now. Yep. Uh, west from Chinese Monument. Uh, going north-ish past uh, Movie Studios and uh, Car Park. Round Movie Studios, clockwise. I lost sight of him. He double back. Yep. Uh, heading back past yeah. uh, Car Park. Uh, yeah, three Movie Studios. Yeah, exactly. I hit a lamp as he knocked over. Any comment outside movie studios? Uh, oh, no, no, yeah, round it, round it again. Going anti-clockwise round it. He's taking a right into an alleyway, uh, heading towards the hospital. 
continuing northwest through the alleyways. Towards golf course. Yeah. Past the tennis courts. Uh, anti clockwise round golf course. No, clockwise round golf course now. Anti clockwise round golf course. <laughs> <laughs> he found a beat. Life Invader heading uh, southeast. If you want to overtake me, Tristan, let me know and I'll make yep. it. I'll turn out the way. I'm on your left, on the other side of the road. Okay. Heading towards shopping centre past yep. the uh, hospital. Right, uh, thank you. Car. Ah! Thank you. <laughs> that corrected everything that I was doing wrong. Uh, past, north past shopping centre. I think we're going west around it. Yes. Uh, and then north up the road just after it. I think it turned east, but I didn't actually. Yes, it turned east. And then north again. There's lots of lampposts forming out here. And west along the main uh, Vinyl Boulevard. Yep, that's him. Now I need to overtake you again. <laughs> Just don't hit a car and then knock me off again. <laughs> you hit the car, I went over you, my wheel caught your, your roof. <laughs> uh, it was west back there, Mark. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay. Did you see him? No. No, I've lost him. I think he might well. have turned left at that last one. I'm not sure. Yeah, uh, yes, you're right. Gone outside the circle, so yeah. I might have him. Um, I s suspect I saw a car change uh, going east um, towards the uh, checkpoint bridge. Yeah, that's him. Um, I'm losing sight. I think he turned south. Do you have a car description? Uh, greyish, blackish. Uh, I've got him heading east down the uh, the lower road to Boulevard, straight for Casino Bridge. I think it's currently here. Oh, it's the bridge below Casino Bridge. He was way in the distance. I have lost him. He's in this area anyway. I have just done a lot of pirouetting. Mm -hmm. Where are you? We didn't get a character, uh, did we? Yeah, I've got him heading towards a shopping centre. Um, like 20 year old black guy, uh, dark shirt, currently driving a black sedan. He's going under shopping centre. Uh, all the way under, right to the end. He's taking a right, we're heading north. Uh, taking a left at Rockford Plaza. Uh, heading west now. Towards uh, golf course, I think. That's all area. He's taking a right, heading north again. And another right. Heading east. And another right, heading south. Wow! I found a mark. Yeah, I didn't find a Lawrence. Oh, I see you. Uh, I don't know where he is. I've lost him. Uh. Yeah, I turned the corner oh, of Barkers there. Uh, <laughs> south past shopping centre. Unless is one of you missing all those back lights? Nope. No, this is him uh, approaching the dog leg. Uh, turning west past red car park.
Uh, going onto the highway north of Red Car Park. Uh, west. Ah, uh, wall there. I might have lost him. A lot of chaos here. I think he's coming off by multicolored car park and turn north. But I'm way behind. Circle would concur. And he's turned east. No, he hasn't. He's stayed north. Oh my god! Oh, shit. Oh. I think he might have. There was a car change here. Yeah. People who this this, this one missing its rear lights, was that one of you two? I'm going to stick on it. Uh, heading east, one road north of movie studios. Uh, passing Life Invader now. It's circles matching it. East past Life Invader. North round Life Invader. Doubling back, west on the north side of Life Invader. Doubling back, uh, hello. Sorry. Ah, knocked him over. I may have tyres, but he's heading west past movie studios. Uh, I've lost him though. Come on! Oh, hello. Hi. In movie studios, coming out of the north end. Uh, I'm going to point out the new studios goes east to west. There's a more northern end, heading northeast. <laughs> I think. I've lost him though. Uh, I think he's out. No, I don't see him. He's around here somewhere, I think, with flat tyres. And My car sounds horrendous. Well, you did encounter a Windsor twice. I've encountered uh, a, a lot more than that, because uh, ah. Mark's driving a Windsor. Ah. I've encountered his a couple of times as well. But right, I found his car abandoned ah, okay. um, by low car parks. He may be on foot, just trying to uh, yeah. blend in. Yeah, he's into the final hunt. Oh, no, he's not. So. No. The circle vanished. This one here. Black uh, car at the stoplights. Can someone give me a hand checking him? Yes. yes. Do you see the character model? I did. Haha, <laughs> AI pulled out in front of him. <laughs> That's helpful. Uh, going onto the highway before me. Got him, he's... yeah, there. Still behind you. <laughs> he, he thought about taking that. <laughs> I think he thought about trying to trick us into thinking he was going to take it. Maybe. He thinks that we think that he thinks that he might. <laughs> ah. He did take that one, he's gone into the construction site. Yeah. He did throw me off on that one. He's come out to the construction site, heading south, and then we to be east. I have lost sight of him. There. It, I think that's him. Yeah, that's him. Oh, he's, he's gained some distance. Passing Simeon's. Right. East. Yeah. Just see two tail lights low. in the distance. Turning south into ghetto right at the end of the road. Right. I'm going to go one before so I can head him off. I think he thought he'd lost me. 
he's heading east back in west sorry into ghetto yeah it's got him uh, where are we back oh, in the chest. ghetto <laughs> uh, middle of ghetto now basically by the donut shop heading towards the strip club past the bowling alley and the car wash and some walls I yeah that's helpful him. might find him not quite tyres 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 uh, my bloody mouse got stuck and it changed the musket <laughs> Hello. Uh, heading south along tram lines Tri uh, yeah tram lines uh, and then we turn west towards uh, arena cars too many cars as long as there have been three players spawning them yeah uh, going to spaghetti junction taking uh, full right Oh, I got stuck on a fence. That, you know. I'm encouraging him to fishtail. Oh, it's always helpful. No! no! <laughs> Mark fell off. Uh, approaching a uh, construction site near Chinese Monument. He's got some nice sense again. Oh, great. Final home. Got to keep eyes on him. Uh, I took the wrong turn, so I'm well out. So it circles uh, way out now, so ignore it. Uh, he red car park. Heading east past red car park. Uh, north, I mean, alongside red car park. Uh, so through the dog leg, straight north. Passing shopping centre. He's turned his lights off. Uh, spinning or sliding. East from shopping centre. South, uh, just after the construction site. Towards Arcadius, maybe? West side, uh, passing Penrith building, east. And then north on the other side of it. Uh, higher side of Pillbox Hill. I do not see him. I think he took a turn somewhere around here. I can see it. I've just lost him completely from that. Uh oh. Good boy. Hello, I think we've just finished a run. Because, well, we haven't quite yet, but I think he's escaped. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's a bit of time to uh, be smug in his end of run. <laughs> <laughs> so for the last probably 10 minutes of that, I had the check engine light on my car. Wow. Well, that's, smoking. That's, that's without the realistic uh, vehicle damage of Bob. Yeah, my car's in not a good shape. Uh, yeah, I noticed that. I was talking about that in, in the narration, that I could see your car getting more and more battered out of shape. And I was going, oh yes, of course, they can't repair their cars anymore, can they? <laughs> That's why I trained two winter.